Hey there, Dr. Rodney White with uh, another Sapi Chiropractic episode of how to prevent back pain and how to avoid a chiropractor. So for week six of our series, we're gonna talk about gardening. We get a lot of people at this time of year coming in with especially low back pain from overdoing things in the garden, but more importantly, doing things that could easily be avoided. And the biggest thing is weeding and planting. You think about how much bending gets done when you're doing those two things. And you really have to try and basically work around this issue because if you're bending for too long, like you've seen in our other videos, you're just gonna tear up that low back, put so much stress on it, and you're going to end up in a place like here way more often than you want to. So in an ideal world, you should be squatting or kneeling even, or doing anything to not be bending at the waist when you're going to be picking weeds or, or doing anything that's gonna have you spending some time like that. If you don't have knees that can handle squatting because they've worn out or you have knee injuries, you can definitely kneel down on the ground, especially if you'll be on the grass. If it's more on mulch where it's going to be a little harsh on the knees, roll up some towels. It just whatever you can do to get the knees comfortable so that you're in more of the quadruped position, it's much safer on your low back, much less stressful. If it's more just picking up a few things, you can do the golfer's lift that we showed you a couple of weeks ago where one foot goes in the air. Of course, you can also always get some kind of weeding tool. That's going to help your back a lot and the money spent on that is gonna be a lot cheaper than the money spent going to a chiropractor. And if ultimately you do have to bend for periods of time, do it for 10 to 15 minutes tops. You're going to be a bit stiff and sore when you straighten back up. So then go and lie down on the ground on your stomach and do what we call the cobra or the sphinx stretch where you push up on your hands. You can find that stretch in our stretch library. It's one we've talked about a lot in some other videos as well, but by doing the reverse, so instead of bending at the waist, we're bending backwards, it decompresses the spine again for you, and it'll take a lot of the pressure out of it. So if you take those tips into the garden, you will find that your back is gonna hold up a lot better, and you're not gonna have to come and see guys like us as often. So please share this content with all your fellow gardeners. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And of course, if you ever need us to come and present on anything for a work team or a sport team or anything like that, anything to do with health, company culture, mindset, any of those things, and just contact us and we can always fit it on the schedule. So hopefully everyone has a great week.